Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Backpack Battles. Today we're going to play the Reaper. They have a little coffin, which gives poison, and they start with poison mushrooms. This is clearly like a poisoning character. Their little scythe thingy also increases the poison things give. That seems good to me. Uh, healing herbs gives regeneration, which I think... Probably makes sense with this build. Oh, there's a piggy bank. Maybe I should have not bought the herbs yet. But, you know, I could get another herb. Maybe pocket sand? Do these activate at the start of the battle, or is this just like a passive? Well, whatever. Well, I mean, I'm not sure. Looks like we're probably gonna win. Oh, easy peasy. They invested in getting the bags early. Got eight coins, so we can't even afford the bag. Uh, so heal five every five seconds and regenerate one stamina. Each, each of these is heal once every two seconds. So there's two of them, so it's two health per two seconds. So that's the same as the banana, except the banana Gives us stamina and also works the fly agaric. So I think I will get the banana. I think in theory we're going to eventually want both of them. Plus it has the food thing, so a lot of synergy. Could get even more healing. That probably matters more than the uh, regeneration. Yeah, there we go. We'll get the bag next turn, which I think is probably worth getting because, like, we were maxed out at the end of our last run, but we weren't, like, that maxed out. Are we dead? We are not dead. Wasn't surprisingly effective. I kind of figured this character would be super duper weak uh, compared to the other ones. Hungry Blade might be worth for us. It's a vampirism, which probably combos well with the regeneration. But of course, I'm gonna get money first. I uh, could get the wooden sword. Rather just get pocket sand. Okay, can you reserve and reroll? You can, absolutely. Stamina bag, good. Banana may also be good. Mm, it's not bad. I don't think we want the banana. I think we want like actual regen. I think this will be our next turn so we can just get the freebie reroll. Okay, I don't think these count as melee attacks. So I think we're just them but stronger. Yep, easy peasy. It's not even close. It's our third win under our belts. Oh, another piggy bank? That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna get the piggy bank. Cash all is just always good. Oh, another piggy bank and another bag? We've got what we want. Technically speaking, yeah, we don't have to reserve this because it's on sale. You know what, piggy bank, you're coming in here. We're going to have the wealthiest build possible. Very good. They might defeat us this round. They have two weapons, but we have... We have the long-term financial gain, hopefully. 
Are they dead? Oh. Poison really stacks up pretty good. There's another mushroom. We definitely want the mushroom. Pan apparently has synergy with the food as well. Okay, we do have 10 coins. I think we want to prioritize the vampire blade. And I'll get a mushroom. And replace the healing, the healing herb for now. Oh, it's also connected to the banana. That's pretty fantastic. We don't have the space for the pan. We've got a different weapon. Hmm. Garlic's probably good for us. I'll say no to garlic. Maybe more pocket sand too. We definitely need a lot more space if we're going to want all these things. Don't know if the vampirism is actually going to do better for us. No, I think it does. Oh, no, but they have garlic, so we're not healing. Oh, we won this round. Fantastic. There's fanfare as well, which is pretty good. Oh, no! Ah, oh, it's one space off. Oh, that's so fucking booty. Damn it. Are you food? You are food. I'm such a dumb fuck. God damn it. I don't think we're going to do the stamina removal build. We did that last time. That's pretty much the only reason. Uh, don't necessarily think we're going for a super garlic build. Okay, we have rectified our error. I think Gloves of Haste are probably also good. Another healing herb is good. Don't think we want double vampire sword. We need to reorganize. So first things first. Boom, we want the sword. We could put the banana here. Uh, we can't fit the gloves and the sword. It's kind of problematic. Maybe uh, this doesn't solve our problem at all. And makes our build worse. Um, okay, we put the gloves there. And then, boom. Alright, that's all fit, so... We should have a 55% faster Hunger Blade. Which is awesome. I think we're going to want the regeneration as well. We'll find a home for the Pocket Sand soon. We can just start the battle. Okay, there's Spiky build. It's not the greatest for us. Oh, they're out of stamina. Oh, they didn't balance their stamina needs. Okay, I think we're going to win just because of that. Easy peasy. They didn't get all that much spikes. Guess they're working on their spike build. The siren song of fanfare. What's this? When your opponent regenerates health, inflict five poison and two to yourself. Why would I want to poison? I mean, it poisons them more than myself, but like that sounds kind of booty. Yeah, I guess we've kind of got a regeneration build, so it kind of ups the ante. Might be worth doing. Uh, I think we're we're a survivor build. We want to survive as long as possible. Bany pack, good. Stamina sack, good. Health potion, good. Looks like there's synergy with the health potion and healing herbs. Demonic flask. 
When your opponent's health drops below 50%, deal 0.7 damage for each debuff stack on the opponent. Poison's gotta be a debuff. So is Pocket Sand, so I think that'll be good as well. Uh, we need to reorganize slightly. There we go. That's fantastic. I have two coins, so I think that'll be that. Really, potions apply effects to other potions as well. Alright. All these garlics are fucking our vampirism build up. It's kinda shitty, not gonna lie. I think we're gonna lose this round, probably. Yeah. Unfortunate. It is what it is. Oh, we got strong health potion. Gain two regen and cleanse two. Okay, so it delays our regen until the moment we get the potion. The flute was not that bad. I don't think it really does too much for us though, because we I don't think we need accuracy. Yeah, it just auto applies. I do kind of think we should transition out of the Hungry Blade. That's a lot of sales. Demonic Flask is pretty good. Whetstone, don't think we need. Another Big Sack is probably acceptable. Another Herb. Could get the Bow. On crit, destroy 20 armor. We don't really crit. It's very low accuracy. I mean, we could try to do a crit build. We don't have any luck generation, though. Could get a banana. I, think we, I need another weapon. Can we afford a ruby egg somehow? Yeah, if we sold our pocket sand. I don't really want to sell my pocket sand. I like the pocket sand. Uh, I don't know. Guess I'll put my potions down and maybe get a garlic to speed up the poison generation. Another leather bag. And another fly agniac. Agaric. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll reserve that. I'll just put all my stuff in here. Again, we're still on the lookout for... A... For the ripsaw blade, I guess. Okay, we're getting so fucking dumpstered. What the fuck? Alright, I'll get a... Armor bag. We could get another demonic flask. Try to go for a super killer build. I think that makes sense. We're down to five gold. I think we want to move the gloves and then move this here and then boom. Protect purse is good. Another flyer garlic is good. Might be better than the garlic for us, but I think the Defense has got to be where it's at. I'll reserve this. Okay. Air spike build. We're kind of poisoning them. Oh, what? <laughs> no, they had 4 HP. 
Okay, I got a big bag. That's pretty good. Got room. Put the mushrooms a little bit in a different location. I could get another one. It's pretty good. We only have one open inventory spot. I do kind of like the banana idea, but I think I'm gonna say no to the banana for now. Uh, I mean, the Hungry Blade, blade is okay. The pan might be where it's at, though. It's a slow attack, does a ton of damage, doesn't <laughs> convert our regeneration into vampirism, which then gets removed with garlic. Ah, fuck, we do want the Ribsaw Blade, right? Ever gonna have a weapon? Uh, no, I'll get the... I'll get the pan. Rock the pan. So it should have plus four damage, which is good. Yeah. I'll keep the hungry blade in the trunk. Blood amulet, it's not necessarily too terrible for us. Pineapple could be all right. Oh, health potion would be good. Uh, because we could get some of the healing herbs out of our inventory and into the potion. Yeah, I think that will be nice. What? They're going to have two blood thorns? Oh, they're completely out of stamina. Oh, crap. <laughs> they might still kill us, hilariously enough. They have 27 poison. There we go. Seventh win under our belts. Got a protect purse. For more armor. More armor is more awesome. Okay, if we remove the pocket sand, we can... Boom. Amazing. Mm. The bow and arrow. Also, uh, I think we see a mushroom, we buy a mushroom. The, blow and the bow and arrow might be better than the pan for us. Just because it... It's not melee. Like, the pan's doing... Uh, one, two, three, four, so six to eight, which this does, but also, this is seven to nine, but also it, I mean, it's much slower, but it doesn't expose us to any of the spiky builds. It's bigger than the pan, which is kind of dog shit. Mm. Uh, Nah, it seems scrappy. Use three regeneration, cast blinding light. Deals an additional one damage for each stack of blind. Blind inflicts seven blinds. That decreases the accuracy by five percent per stack. Okay, this has gotta be the good weapon. And say goodbye, pan. Uh, this is a four-piece weapon, but I can put this here and boom, just barely fits. Uh, we need to reorganize our inventory a little bit. There we go. Is there any way I can fit in another mushroom? I think I'll get another glove as well. Alright, we're out of coin. 
We'll fit in the mushroom next turn. Alright, poisoning the crap out of them. Okay, they're basically dead. It's not a good hammer build. Awesome, we got a strong health potion as well. I'll get another fanny pack. Uh, we might not want to convert all our regen into health potions. Because at this point we can no longer cast Blinding Light right at the start. This is pretty good. Okay, there we go. Oh, the Death Scythe. <laughs> Fuck, the Death Scythe is the good weapon for the poison build. We'll get that next turn. Meantime, I do want regeneration. Do want the gloves. Do probably want the mushroom. We have seven coins, so I can easily fit in something else. Maybe another one of those potions. Which also, we need to organize our inventory. The potions activate the potions above themselves. Or one gold too low for the potion. I could sell a garlic for the potion. The garlic's kind of boosting our stuff. How many ones are we on? Eight? Could sell a piggy bank. Does slow down our growth a little bit. It's the only thing that's not like critical to the build. That and the garlic, but the garlic's providing some cooldown reduction. There we go. Uh, hold up, I don't, I don't know if we want the healing potions triggering the poison potions. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, that's a lot of armor. Uh, we're getting a little bit poisoned. Don't know who's gonna win. We're chunking our fatigue, but I don't think that actually matters. Oh, never mind. They're so fucking toast. <laughs> Easy peasy. Too defensive. Alright, we've got four slots. That's good. Might need to remove the piggy bank from the build. Okay, so we can get this. First of all, let's buy it. Okay, so this doubles the poison. Can we get... Okay, we can get four mushrooms, maybe five mushrooms, if we didn't have the sword here. Tap double poison. Can we place the sword any higher? Maybe we can find another like sack for the stamina. We could remove the lightsaber for now. That give us room for another fly agaric. Uh, the only reason why I'm thinking about that is because <laughs> okay, I can make the mushrooms go faster uh, because we were eating up all our stamina. Uh, this mushroom doesn't really matter if it's here all that much. There we go. 
I think the meat and potatoes of our build is the poison, so this should be workable. And all these mushrooms are touching the fanny pack. Yeah, I think we've improved ourselves. Let's see, you have six vampirism. Doesn't really matter. It's inflicting less poison than we are, but it's hitting us with the spear. Never mind. Fantastic. That wasn't hard at all. Now we're almost out of bronze with the Reaper as well. What did the trophies do? Does it say? Doesn't really. Maybe it's like a meta progression currency that's just not in the game yet. Okay, the poison build doesn't seem all that bad. It's a little bit sketchy, but I think it was less close than our last one. Yeah. Not really much thoughts other than that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Backpack Battles. Bye!